Today I'm in Guadalajara, Mexico, a city in the state of Jalisco, and I have one thing to say about it. I love the vibe of this place already. Today I'll be taking you to a market in the heart of Guadalajara. That's a big feed. Named San Juan de Dios to explore. That is beautiful. Some of Mexico's delights. Welcome to Far and Beyond. My name is Chris Webber. I'm a travel enthusiast. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button so I can see you again in future videos. Hola. Wow. 42 pesos. 6 tacos for 42. 6 for, for 42. 42. That's really cheap. Para mi, uh, una de eso, por favor. Chorizo, sudadero, sudero, y esto. So I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to get a bunch of different ones. Muchísimas gracias. Oh, that's a big feed. That's a big feed right there. This sauce is not that spicy. So it's a hit and a miss here. They always have one spicier than another, but sometimes it blows your head off, and other times it's just sort of a bit bitey. So that's 42 pesos, guys. Six tacos. Can't really go wrong. These markets are where you'll find your cheaper food. If you go into a shop, it will be twice the price. You come to a market, or you go anywhere else uh, on the street, if it's a street vendor, that's where you'll find your cheap food here in Mexico and pretty much any other country, really. That's just the rule of thumb. You dine out, you pay twice. And and you know what? In my honest opinion, you find the best food in the cheaper places. It really is. You can't beat it. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go around the market here and we're going to check out what's here. We're going to go up all the different levels. You know, knowing markets, there's always something of interest. You can always find something exotic or different. What is this? This is calabaza. It's dulce. All are dulces. Do you want to try it? Oh, sure. This is this? Calabaza? Bismarca. Calabaza. And this is for eating? Yes. It's dulce. Wow. Wow. It's like miel, no? No. It's the calabaza. Oh, it's a fruit. I have no idea what calabaza is. That is beautiful. Yum. That's really, really good. And that is esto. Yo uh -huh. probé eso. ¿Y cuánto es una de eso? 20. 20. That's 20 pesos for a block of that. That's really good. It's like hard on the outside, but spongy on the inside. ¿Y esto cuál es? Esto es coco. ¿Lo quieres probar? Ah, sure. That's coconut. ¿Por qué es uh, rosa? Lo pinta. Ah, ok. Esto también es cocada. Wow. También Check es this out. This is coconut. Wow, it's muy uh, it's con leche, so it's coconut and milk, makes like a coconut cake. She's filling me up, I feel like I have to buy something. It's coco? Uh huh. También lo puedes probar si quieres. necesito comprar algo. So that's coconut, coconut, calabaza. calabaza. Y este es el dulce más típico. Oh. This is another one, she's filling me up with so many things, I've got to buy something now. Esto es qué? Arayan. 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 Es una fruta? Uh -huh. Wow. That is really, really, really sweet. Para mí una de eso, por favor. So I'm going to get calabaza. Muchísimas gracias. Esto un poco. Este está más blandito. Esto es color claro. So this is the coconut. Oh, yum. That is beautiful. ¿Cómo es cocinar? Co co si es, sí, es este cocinado con piloncillo. Piloncillo. Uh -huh. I no sé cuál es esto. Piloncillo. It's con piloncillo. So I don't know what that is, guys. You have to Google that. I think that's probably the best, to be honest. But I've already bought my uh, calamasi. Muchas gracias. Okay, Eddie, Eddie. Cuidate. So I bought. That's my first purchase. I'll tell you. It is tasty as, but I think I think I might even go back and uh, get some more of that um, coconut later because that was my favorite. Sort of like dehydrated, cooked, and then it's it's caramelized in some uh, some something sweet. I don't know what it was that she told me. Well, we got a full pig here. That's stomach. Wow. We've got hanging animals and we have a little cat. Hello. He's just chilling. Esta es estómago. ¿O cuál? Sí, es estómago. Wow. Mucho estómago. <laughs> There's cow heads there, but it's pretty graphic, so I don't know if uh, if I'm gonna be able to. Hola, qué tal? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put that on or not. But there was full cow heads and that was skin. Oh, yeah, this is a different market. Everything gets eaten, which is good. 
This is herbs. This now, now I'm in a herbs place. It's crazy how fast it changes. One moment it's butchers, now I'm in like the herbs and, and, and organic fruits. Like there is so much happening here, eh? Wow, look at this one. Disculpa, ¿cómo se llama? Pitayas. Pitaya. Pitayas. Oh, we've hit the pitaya. This is the famous. Bien rica? Sí. ¿Y cuánto es cada, cada uno? So, so we've, got, we've got different prices. 15, 10, 10 8, 8, 7 y 4. Y 4, that's the cheapest. ¿Todo sabor, sabor sí. igual? Sí. ¿Por qué el color es diferente? Así vienen es... los árboles. Ah, ok. So it's just some, some, some have different colors. That's, that's interesting. Look at, the, look at the color differences. Una de eso, por favor. Una, una buena. Esta. Esta, que sí. Roja. Ah, creo que roja. roja. No sé. Lo roja es el sabor es diferente. No. No. Es okay. el color. So it's just the colors different. Look at this. <laughs> wow. ¿Te está tomar? Sí, sí. Wow. Más no que no se le vaya a tirar, ¿eh? Porque... Wow. Oh, it's slippery. All right, guys. It's pitaya. So I've tried pitaya, but it was different. It was a different. Oh, wow, that is so soft, it like melts in your mouth and just falls to bits. Look at it, I don't know if you can see that. Look at this, what an interesting fruit, it's almost like a brain. <laughs> it's, it's like all tangled bits of fruit together and it just falls to bits. It just breaks apart in your mouth. Wow, I have never, ever in my life tried anything quite like this. That is amazing. <laughs> Look at it. It's like a brain. And it just breaks off into your mouth. It's really slippery on the outside. Like that's very slippery fruit, but it's light. It's like, feels like you're holding foam. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow, I have never ever in my life experienced something like that. Eso es algo diferente. Wow. Wow. Como? It's a dragon fruit. This is a dragon fruit. It is a dragon fruit. Now I've tried pitaya before. But it was a different pitaya. It was a, it's yellow. It's totally, totally different. It's a, they're all a part of the dragon fruit uh, family, I guess. I can confidently tell you that I have never, ever in my life experienced any food like this food here. Pitaya, guys, check it out. So when you're in Mexico, I highly recommend getting yourself some of these because wow, it's just it was a fun experience in itself. It was wow. Muchas gracias por la experiencia y cuídate mucho. Chao. Ah oh, yeah, that was a win. I love, I love that. That was, that was so awesome. That fruit is amazing. That was honestly the most extreme, like bizarre experience for eating food I've ever had. The texture, the way it falls apart in your mouth, the way it falls apart in your mouth is just, it's just something else. All right, so I'm gonna go straight up to the, the third level because we started on the second, went down to one, and now we'll hit up three. It looks more sporty guys and shoes and stylish this place is massive there's so many shoe shops here it just keeps going and going and going as far as it's just one big strip of shoes why and why would there be so many shoes i don't know <laughs> there must be serious competition because there is about a thousand shoe shops here and i've just gotten to the end and i've hit another wall of shoes Converse All Stars. In this place, like I said, this is so, so big. Quick, quick recap. The bottom floor is just items. Then we've got food. And then the top floor is just, that whole back part is just, just shoes. And then it changes from this way forward. Like this place is absolutely massive. But that's it for today, guys. We've pretty much done the rounds. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.